Yeah, what's up guys, it's Sam Mouldy. And I'm back with uh, another installment of um, Ways to Play series. This one is called Roll Open. Now, this one is really interesting because it's one of the first actually really good advice I received from the RPG community, uh, community over, over YouTube. And um, <laughs> Okay, so there was a guy. I don't know if he's still out there. I need to check it out. Like the Outsider 1964 or the Outsider 64. British fella. British lad. Good guy. Dope guy. He was involved, you know, with, uh, you know, producing uh, uh, like, uh, you know, resource book for DCC back in the days. Um, super cool guy you know one of the you know original member like he's an OG the o an OG for the YouTube RPG community guy was dope I don't I haven't seen him in a while so I might yeah I always been subbed to him over YouTube so I hope he's still out there I man so yeah well, guys guy was funny and we had uh, he was producing videos you know on a really regular basis and we one day we had like this um, this uh, hangout back when hangout was just coming out and and uh, he said to me he said you know I roll my dice really open you know it's fine it's on the table it's in front of you with this British accent I do this I don't know where he's from, but he has that British accent. It's like, I roll my dice in the open. It's really open. It's always in the open. And he said to me, when you will start doing that, it will open the play in such a way that it will shine for you. He said that to me. And it took me, you know, I, probably another year and a half before I actually understood what he meant, right? Because I, I needed to go to... Packs, you know, Boston packs to understand and meet the indie community. But roll open means you don't hide your rolls. <laughs> Everybody roll open. The GM roll open, the player roll open. So, I mean, no, no hiding, no bullshit. So, me, I was, uh, you know, for, for those who know me, I'm a big fan of GM screens. But I don't but I but but I don't use the, the screen to hide. I drop the screen and I use it as a splat book, you know, where I can see everything. <laughs> and I roll my dice on the goddamn GM screen, right? <laughs> because and what I like with the GM screens is always you know the idea of uh, how the designers and the editors and all that they put all the the most used the most important rules out there right right in front of you and this is what i like with gm screens that's the only reason why i always get a gm screen it's a nice asset i'm willing to pay for it i like the product you know as a part of the game but the idea is when you so for me there was an issue in rpg this series is always about there was an issue how did you dealt with it so I I dealt with GM Fiat like my own I'm a GM I'm not a player I mean I don't play much and I and honestly man if you, if you give me the choice I mean I'd rather GM I mean for some reason playing is overrated I don't know. I need to find a good way out. I get the light out. I'm, I, I'm in the dark alley. I'm a scum of the earth. All right, so GM Fiat is a big thing. When you start rolling your dice open, you cannot Fiat. So if you want to deal with GM Fiat, you just roll open. Never hide, always in front of everybody. Now, that's one thing, right? And another thing with uh, is cheating. So cheating, just, just raw bone cheating, like 
changing the numbers like ah oh, you should have died there but no you don't right cheating just cheating uh then uh, what else never hide the dice uh i mean you just you, i mean you want to be honest honesty when the dice is rolled open you're dealing with honesty you don't you don't i mean it's not like oh he rolled behind the screen so he might have cheated me i mean it's not just about cheating it's also about trust so roll roll open is basic i mean it's really important now some games out there don't use dice so you can translate that to resolution open resolute open <laughs> i don't know how you say that but it's like you know you you do your thing in an open matter right so resolute open roll open if you use a uh, play cards utilize play card opening never hide you roll open you, you have dice no matter how, uh, how much the dice or whatever resolution uh, mechanic you use you do that open now i'm friend with a guy named colin cruikshank colin cruikshank is a scottish fella who i've been playing with for quite some time now and we do solo games and we do all kind of stuff and we discuss game completely drunk sometimes all night i have been doing all nighter with this guy quite some time he's a cool dude and i want to bring him on this channel one day he has great ideas and he's open-minded fella and um <clears throat> he, he's really like the opposite of me he's a he's a plotter and he's a he's the kind of guy that wants to to, to keep stuff hidden so we were playing feed uh, last night we, we were trying mechanics because we have a campaign that we want to do uh, in feed feed is a game that I've been discussing on this channel it's about vampire and it has, it's an indie game it has really interesting uh, mechanic to it and so the idea of this game is that most of the time what you do is that you roll against another roll so it's mostly it's trait based trait has dice roll associated to them i don't want to get into the, the details but you know sometimes you roll against a, a generic obstacle which is the idea of uh, if you have more successes than failures the, no matter what you roll you get it if you have uh, a draw and more failure you fail so that's generic nobody rolls but the rest of the game is always based around the idea that you roll against another roll so i was like so so we reached that point in the game right so we play and we reach the point where as the gm he needs to roll me something and i'm the as the player i need to roll one of my trap so the game is like it, it says you know one two or three die six is kind of easy and one two or three die ten is kind of hard this is the range of what you roll when you're a gm against any threat roll from the player so i'm uh, so i so i'm about to roll and i'm like hey i want to see how much do you roll i'm like how much do you roll i want to see your roll he's like no i don't want to show you my roll so i'm like man like you cannot hide your fucking roll i want to see the results it's like you're gonna see the results but you're not gonna see the stakes and oh i was shook i was like oh my god this is a new distinction right there and this is really important for this kind of discussion we make distinctions so he's like he's like he's like it's okay to hide the stakes but not to hide the results now in a game like Pathfinder, that doesn't work because Pathfinder is not designed that way. The Pathfinder is like I show you the result, you know what the stakes are for the rest of the rounds. 
So you know I'm a D6 guy or you know I'm a D whatever guy or you know my defense is this as soon as I show you the results. Right? Because you have many rounds. But in feed, there's no round like that. So you can hide the stakes and then showing the results. So I, so I, I have to trust you because I see the results, but I still have the, the surprise of the stakes. And I'm like, oh my God, no. Nah. Like, so that's an interesting distinction about, I'm sorry for the light. That's an interesting distinction about, um, about showing your results, not like so roll open, but hide the stakes. So the idea is now like, like for me, a guy like me, all I want is honesty. So you are gonna have to show me the goddamn result. We play a game. I wanna see what you roll. I wanna see what I'm up against. But I mean, it's like in real life kind of thing. It's almost like a simulationist approach. Like, you know, I'm a fighter, I do seva. Or, and I'm a dancer and I do battles. So I'm not gonna know what I'm up against until I see you dance or until I, I, I fight with you, right? So, so it's gonna take me one round or two and I'm gonna, and I know now, I know now if, if, if I'm up against lower or higher than I. It's the same thing with the game. A lot of gamers out there, they don't want to know in advance what they are up against. This is where the fun is. But we're still playing a game, so we need to see the results. But some of these games are so poorly designed. And now I'm challenging the designers out there. They are so poorly designed that you cannot hide the stakes from the result and the result from the stakes. You cannot hide the results from the stakes. So what it means is that as soon as they see the results, they lose the stress of the stakes. So there is games now. now so, so you see this, this new distinction I'm bringing in. It's like you have stakes. Some guys, they don't want to know the stakes because this is part of the fun. But as soon as you show them the results, they know by accident, this is like as a byproduct of looking at the dice, right? So now that's, that's the problem. That's the problem in design. That's the problem in design because it creates the idea of, bro, trust me, I'm rolling behind the screen because I don't want you to know how strong my dragon is. But fuck you, I don't trust you because maybe you don't want me to die here because you know my personality and you know that if I die here, I'm not coming back to the table. If I'm not coming back to the table, these two dudes in front of me, they're not gonna come back without me. So you lose your table. And what I just say there is so important, it's so fucking true that it's worth acknowledging that distinction. So if you play with people like that, if you are in a group like that, you need to find a game you can roll, roll open. You need to find a game you can utilize resolution in an open way. So trust is never an issue. The whole idea of trust, the whole idea of fiat is gone by the window. If the dice are roll open, it's over. It's, you cannot cheat, you cannot fiat, you cannot do what the, whatever you want, I mean, you dead, you dead, everybody sees it. You lose, you lose. It's part of the game, you know? And so, for me, this principle is really important. It comes before everything. Like, if you play a game that there is this problem between the stakes and the results, and if I show you the dice, you know what the stakes is, and if I show you the stakes, you lose your fun, Change game, find another game. There is better games out there that will allow you to roll open without doing that. So it's really important. It's part of the, it's part of, you know, the experience, like, and it's, it's problematic, man. I was, me and, and Colin were playing feed and we were, we were reading the rules and we were practicing before the campaign. You know, it's really important to do that as well. 
we took the time to do that. So we were practicing. It took an hour, just a, couple, a few rolls, just to see how it works. And then we play, and then we reach that point where, oh my God, no, 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 I don't agree with you. I want to see the dice. I want to see how much you roll. It's like, no, no, no. I'm going to show you the results. And I'm not going to show you the stakes. And for me, it was just mind blowing because I never thought about this distinction. For he, for his experience, it's important. And I realized that, oh shit, I don't, actually, I don't care. If you show me the result, I'd rather, I'd rather keep the, the stakes hidden. I'm cool. Yeah, it's, it's actually more fun. Perfect. But I need to see the goddamn result. As soon as I see the result, though, I know the stakes. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's a, it's a sneaky worm, this one. And it's an important one, you know, because, and so I want to make a brief summary of this theory. Um, all of these ways to play, all of these principles, you don't have to use them all. You can pick them, choose them, and utilize them for your own sake. Some of them you like, some of them you don't. You pick and choose and they all work and they work with 80%. I would say 80% of the games out there. Some of the games are meant differently, designed differently, and, sh and, and so some of these principles don't apply as well. This one is one of them. You know, depending on the resolution mechanics, de depending on the how you utilize the, the resolution device, you know, some games are played by runes, some games are played with the Jenga tower, some games are played with dice, some games are played with uh, you, you playing cards. You never know. So depending on your resolution mechanic, it's going to change the approach to roll open, you know, but I mean, this one is so important for trust and trust when you play collaborative storytelling experience and you have a social contract, it's like civilization, you know, you need trust and you need to trust the person in front of you. Otherwise, you're, the fun is not going to happen because you're like, okay, you, you fiat me there, right? Okay, so uh, I can't, I, you know, the last two hours of me rolling my shit is not worth it. So it's the same thing. Rolling open allow for a ground, good ground foundation of trust. All right, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this one. But this is the new thing I'd like you to understand and share and, and discuss is the idea of distinction between the stakes of the resolution and the results. And the idea of hiding those. Because I have, you know, in my, in, in my recent discussion with Runeslinger, we discussed that. We discussed the idea of, um, we discussed the idea of you know, you want to do a perception check because there's a there's a trap, you know, and so there's an obstacle. As soon as you state the obstacle, the level of difficulty is expressed, so the stakes is out there, and then he rolls, and then, or if it's a versus roll or something, you know, like there is some stuff you want to keep hidden. Sometimes, well, this create an important distinction in the resolution depending on your group, depending on all kinds of social contract and the game you play and the genres also. So it's really important to, to, to keep that in mind when you introduce that in play. So everybody's on the same page. So it's a, you know, if I'm looking, for, if I say, hey, I wanna do a perception check, I wanna find traps and I'm a thief in a fantasy setting genre. Kind of, kind of thing uh, and then I roll my perception I'm like okay so what's my obstacle as soon as he states the obstacle I know I roll I fail now there's the GM rolling a dice behind the GM screen and I'm like why the fuck you roll a dice behind there because I'm rolling for a table and I'm like I want to see that table I want to see that dice this is exactly where I'm at. All right, what do you guys think about this zone, this this situation, and how we go about that? How we go about that, and the idea of roll open. Yo, the outsider sixty four. Thank you very much. I hope you see this. If you see this, 
Comment below. All right. Talk to you soon.